Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop competition. I will tell you what, folks, this is going to be an exciting one because the dance level does not match the description. Why is that? Because we are going to TBK 2019 Showdown Jack and Jill Open in Korea! Let's get right into this. Let's not play around. This is Korea. The dance level is so much higher than any other place in the world. I don't need to build any rapport. This is just gonna get right down to business. Look at this, already. These do not reflect people at the open level on a global scale. <clears throat> so I've gotta be extra picky. Is that Adamas? It is Adamas. My boy looking sharp. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> ho, 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 ho! Okay. I'm liking this band. <clears throat> okay. Okay, control folks. Yes! This band! I'm feeling chicken skin! You know it's good! You know it's good! Yes! Three minutes and 24 seconds! Jack and Jill open finals! What is my verdict? What will my verdict be? Let's get into it. All right, folks, I got to say, I am over and over and over. I must repeat it to you guys that there is a different level of dancing in Korea that we just cannot compare to any other place in the world. So my standards don't necessarily change. They're just a little bit more sensitive, right? And more nuanced to help us understand the difference between what is objective and what is subjective. Most of Lindy Hop is subjective, so I'm gonna dive right into those objective components that make this dance worth judging on because they're not that big of a deal. So first off, 
on a technical standpoint, both couples had control. Both couples had control. Control for me means can I see the leader initiate something? Can I see the follower initiate something? I don't know what their intentions are, but I can tell that they're not interrupting each other's role. The leader's role is to start something. The follower's role is to finish something. Some of you are like, well, what's the, how, the details of the follower? How could she improve? How'd she get better? Look, I don't know if it's wrong because I don't know what the leader's intentions are. But I can tell you on a technical standpoint, there's only four things that followers have to do. Everything else is an illusion and subjective. There's only four things, right? And one of those things I'm going to mention, just one of those things that I think is incredibly important is keeping your feet close together, right under your body. Why is this? Because if a follower takes big steps, no matter what the leader's intentions will be, the follower will always misconstrue it. They will either go too far and run into someone or um, something worse could happen. So I didn't see any of the followers like bringing their feet out too far um, in this competition. This is Korea, folks. This is like a whole nother level. So on a technical standpoint, both couples are near flawless. I could see the intentionality being met by leaders and followers. So with that being said, now I got to get down to the subjective part. For me, that is what you do with all of that control and what do you do with the technique? How do you manipulate it to make it look different? So let's get into timing. Timing is an important thing for me. I don't know about a lot of people, but these people could dance by themselves in their room technically and be proficient and look good, but it won't move me emotionally as a, as a person who's viewing their dancing. It's something about the dancers being able to match the intensity of the music whenever a, a major transition is about to take place. And both of these dancers were able to hear the macro uh, elements of the music uh, and adjust to those transitions so that we could see something different. <clears throat> now, I will tell you, I will tell you this in my biased opinion. The couple that stood out to me the most when it came to the timing <sighs> may have been the couple on the left. They made it very obvious that the phrase was going to change and they were going to change the idea of just moving and moving and moving and moving to something stopping and then they begin to like rotate with each other. They were doing some kind of move like Suzy Q, but I could tell in a more pronounced way that something was going to change when the music changed with the couple on the left. That's what I liked about their dancing. Now, the things I did not like were the fact that sometimes it looked like the leader was not initiating something to the partner. Sometimes it looked like they were just moving without the follower having some type of way to respond. So the follower is expecting to move, but the leader didn't necessarily move her and he was just doing things and you can kind of see something's wrong here. It looks jarring. It looks like he meant to communicate something. He probably thought he did, but he didn't, right? There are a couple of moments in their dancing where that took place and that miscommunication also can be seen by the audience. So I noticed that on a uh, timing uh, scale. Those are just some small issues that I saw, <clears throat> which could have been deliberate. Let's say he could have intend intended that to happen, but let's just say I didn't prefer that. As an audience member and as a judge, I would say it almost looked like there was some type of mistake on the technique. That may have been an artistic point uh, that they were trying to make. Now, uh, the creativity part. There were no things in this competition that I thought were extraordinarily new. And you guys know me. That is the very first thing I'm going to go to if the control part is there. I'm looking to see who has a unique fingerprint that they are willing to put out there so we can glean from and be inspired by and help us be more inspirational in our own dancing. And so far, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So I'm a little disappointed with both couples. Although, get this, guys. This is the open. How disappointed can I be? You know what I mean? It's just like this is supposedly like the, the more entry level competitions. And they're all dancing like advanced plus dancers in America. It's a different world. So I'm disappointed on a Korean level, but I'm not disappointed on a global level because they don't count. It's a, it's, it's a disparity there, right? 
So I didn't expect a whole bunch of ingenuity. I did expect technical proficiency, and I saw that. So um, the couple for me who takes it all is the couple on the right. The gentleman had, uh, let's see, make sure the color's right. He had a uh, yellow shirt, blue pants. She had a black, uh, black pants, pink shirt. What I liked is that whenever they were doing a swing out, the follower didn't take huge steps. Usually sometimes they'll take big steps after that first uh, rock. If it's a swivel, they'll take a second step that's really big and presume it's a swing out. What if the leader doesn't do a swing out and they're just expecting to get out of the way and do something else? Well, sometimes followers aren't fully in the, in the mindset of following what's happening with the energy. Sometimes they get pre-programmed to think, oh, you're, you're going to do a swing out. Okay. I know that look in your eye. And they just begin to do something that isn't actually there. And I think she was better at just simply responding to the direction of the energy without making her feet go too far apart. So that's important to me on a technical level. There's three other areas that are absolutely important. If you guys want to know that, check out some of my courses below. You can get all those details. But she nailed that better than, than the other couple. Now, listen, it's not like I didn't like the other follower. It's just that I felt like the, the follower that was in the red was able to manage that just a little better. Just a little better. But that doesn't mean I like their dancing. That's that small technical thing that is, that is really a distraction from the competition. It's a, it's a distraction because what I'm really judging is what are they doing with the technical stuff? I'm not judging how perfect the little technical thing is. I can just tell you from a technical standpoint that that is a jarring part that you can see over time how it can get in the way of being able to express yourself more artistically if that small technical spot isn't taken care of. So let's not get it twisted and, and make it seem like the competition is really all about how pure you can be at some technique because that's not how I look at it. I look at that as the bare minimum. Now, the gentleman on the with the orange shirt, on um, orange, yellow shirt, I like some of the choices that they made. He was able to exercise leading with visual cues, which is also another way of leading because we have a lot of moves in Lindy Hop where we just visually look at each other and do something. We do a little snap and we go up like that. You're not leading those things physically. You're not sharing energy to make that happen. Those are like visual cues and traditional jazz moves that you just kind of have to know with your partner, right? And I think he was able to introduce some visual cues that were not conspicuous. They were not the normal ones that you would expect the follower to respond to without any hesitation. And he did it at the very beginning. As soon as they came out, he did some kind of little pass. They were kind of going in and out and he passed his partner in front of her. And she was just like, okay, let's go right with it. No hesitation, no fretting of the face. Like, what's this move supposed to be? I've never had this one happen. None of that. So I really liked his suggestive leading. It was very impactful. Um, I also liked the fact when they were leading with energy, when he was actually distributing energy to his partner, they were phenomenal. There were some moves that they were doing where both of their hands were doing the exact same thing. Their free hand was imitating each other, even though the follower was responding to the energy the best way on a technical standpoint, but she wanted to make it more than that. So she was actually mirroring the leader with the hands and it made it look like it was almost choreographed. That's powerful to me. That's super powerful to me. So if, if I'm looking at this competition, I am looking not at the control part as the main part. I am looking for timing, what you do with the control, and I'm also looking for creativity. And I will tell you, out of both couples, I was more entertained by the couple with the yellow shirt and the red shirt because of some of their choices that they made artistically with the timing that they used. The other couple had better timing when it came to the phrases changing musically, but I liked the artistic choices of the other couple. Their energy was the same. When he was excited, she was excited. When she was relaxed, he was relaxed. And I think that is a real testament to the power of two people coming together and working together in a way where the technical part isn't the highlighted part. It's those nuanced things in communication that make something feel more genuine and emotional, not so much just technically communicating with language, right? And so I feel 
when I watched this couple, um, I was extremely entertained when they were out doing their sets. Now, I will say, towards the end, there was a little bit of confusion with both couples. I wasn't sure if it was the musical cues because I wasn't, I, I didn't know if it was like the time where they needed to just both go out there and swing out because it looked like the couple with the yellow and the pink were just kind of like practicing. <laughs> just kind of hanging out a little bit. While the other couple grabbed my attention because it didn't look like they were um, relaxing at all. They just kept going all out and I liked that. So that's one thing I will say is if you're in a competition, never let up the gas. You just don't know what can happen. Never let it up. Just keep giving your all, keep going all the way because the musicians are doing that. We have to really think about the audience is the, is the goal here. The audience is the one that wants to feel the emotional reaction from what they hear and what they can see the dancer do. And if it's both together, they feel like the dancers are amplifying what the musicians are actually playing. They will give it an outburst, an emotional response that says, yes, I'm with you on that. And ultimately, as a dancer, I encourage you, you are, you're in the driver's seat. You have all the control and power to manipulate that process in a very positive way. So don't forget, the musicians aren't lighting up. You don't let up. All right. So that's my two cents on this one. So the winners, man, they were Phenomenal. I can't wait to see what happens with these two dancers. Actually, both of these couples. If they got all through the, you know, this is the finals, that means they had to battle a lot of other people that I missed out on. Um, and I wish I could have seen them. I don't have time to look at all of the videos. But I just wanted to check out this final because this is the open, the open level. This is not like the American open level. This is crazy good. So I'm curious to see what these dancers decide to do on an artistic level. Because clearly they have mastered the technique and now where do you go from there? And I, I really hope they don't get caught in just trying to play it safe with their movements and just doing the same old things everybody else is doing. But I hope they start branching out and getting more and more bold and aggressive and their stylistic choices. That's the two cents I would say for most dancers today, but I also have my hopes up. I really have my hopes up. I, I wanna see what happens with these dancers specifically. So there you have it, folks. Those are the couples. That's the couple I think that won first place. The other couple clearly for me is second place because there's only two that's left. Um, who do you think won this competition? This is just my opinion. You know, I've been dancing for 30 plus years. I have a different filter and a different lens on how I look at things. I like to explain why. I don't just like to say, you were good. You were bad. Keep working on that swing out. Come grab me for a private lesson and I'll make it easier for you. I don't like that. I, I, I love the art form itself and I love when people can find their place in the art form and leave a massive mark. And that part, I want to, as a judge, liberate people to have that freedom. I don't want them to ever feel like they have to be on edge to be themselves. I don't want them to try to placate me to just imitate the things that I think they should imitate or just dance for me. I want people to be themselves, but they first have to master the technique. And the technique is simple. If you guys want to know what I do and how I approached it, you should check out my fundamentals membership below. I spent over 10,000 hours trying to figure this out so I can help other dancers just find their place artistically in the dance and get all of the other stuff out of the way because I want to be inspired and I'm sure you would love to be inspired by seeing some amazing videos of swing dancing and stylistic stuff that you've never seen before. I think we all would be refreshed by that. So check out my fundamentals membership. It will help you followers understand what those four pillars are and how to manipulate them so you never you know how to never miss a lead. You know exactly how to fix yourself when you're social dancing and you'll never be stressed while you're taking classes at big events because when you take class at big events, you're not actually maturing as a follower. You're talking about following, but you're actually learning a move with the leader in class and you both are just trying to break, make the move work and you see what's going to happen next and that's not following it's a completely different idea so if you want to take a look at that i encourage you check out my art of following it's in the fundamentals and beyond uh fundamentals membership if you guys want to get some inspiration from me 
Um, check out some of my free courses below. I got a lot of stuff I'm putting in there every single week to inspire the dancers in my community um, to be artists, not just craftsmen. We have to be both, but we want to see what you can do to the Lindy Hop story. All right? So what do you guys think? Let me know what you thought in the comment section. This was crazy. This was awesome. I'm glad I got a chance to see it. I wanted to tune in. Let me know what you thought. And hopefully, if I don't see you in class, I will get a chance to see you in another reaction video when I see your comments. Have a great one. Take care.